Please help me welcome some of the cast of Hitman, Agent 47, starring as a Katya, Miss Hannah Ware. And this next gentleman is a uh, science fiction icon, and this film looks like it will certainly expand his legacy. Mr. Zachary Quinto. Welcome, guys. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having us. This film looks uh, exciting and and terrifying and action-filled. And uh, Katya, let's talk a little. I'm screwed. Let's talk about Katya a little bit, Hannah. Let's talk about um, her relationship with Hitman in the film. Is well, it's complicated to say the least, right? Can you talk yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it as much as I, I, I know, I it's can. hard with a film like this. You can't really uh, give away yeah. too much, but uh, well, 47 seats Katya out. But then Katya presents 47 with some of his biggest challenges. Um, and so they have a very complicated relationship, like you've just said. But um, it's an exciting and terrifying one at the same time. Yeah. And John Smith is the name of the character you play, Zachary. Yeah, very complicated name. <laughs> the character is more, the see, more complicated me. than the name. With a name like that, I think something <laughs> bad is going on underneath the surface. You never know. I can't, I don't know what to make of him in the trailer, certainly yeah. I don't. But it seems like, I'm guessing you are an equal of Agent 47's, if not his, his better. Yeah, in a way. I mean, the interesting thing about this movie is, it, 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 and that's the first we've seen of, of, of any of the stuff that oh, we really? shot. Yeah, I mean, we saw bits and pieces while we were in Berlin and Singapore making it. But to actually see it put together like that is really epic. And the scale and the scope, the style of this film uh, is all really dynamic and exciting. But it's, it's rooted in the relationships between these characters. And we're definitely missing a, an essential part of that triangle. R Rupert is uh, incredible in the movie. And, uh, and it's his dynamic and his relationship between Katya and John uh, that really defines the journey through all of this epic action and the architecture of these amazing cities that we got to shoot in. So uh, it's pretty dynamic, I will say. Hannah, I've enjoyed your work on Betrayal and, and Boss. Uh, is this your first foray into sort of the action adventure genre? It most certainly is, yes. And I've got an amazing mentor. Yeah, he's done it a couple of times. Yeah, he knows he what can, he's doing. Yeah, he taught me the ropes. And, um, What's well, the difference as an actor to, to do something like this, which is so physical and so high, high octane. I mean, the, that in itself, and also it's, it, um, the technical aspect of it is, is far different than, you know, shooting television drama. Right. Um, but it's, it's, a real, it's a really good challenge, and I'm, I was really excited to do it, and I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, and I think the physicality of the whole film really lent itself well to our journeys, our respective journey, journeys as John Smith and Katia. And D's. Um, so, yeah, it was just really helpful. And also shooting in Berlin and Singapore, where the film is actually set. So we weren't filming somewhere else and actually it's not basing a green it. screen, you mean? That's for, oh, the real city. Oh, well, there was a bit of green, was a green screen. screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Um, but uh, Singapore and Berlin couldn't be more different. And they really, um, I think, helped kind of propel us into what we were doing. and and what the story we were telling, really. And I know you guys can't give away too much, but I was thinking, Zachary, as I watched you, you must get a lot of interest from people who make films in this genre because of your success in it. What was it about this character that drew you to, to take on this role versus some others you may have been yeah, on? Yeah, I mean, I tend to respond to characters that have more going on than meets the eye uh, and, and that are internally grappling with or um, presenting one thing even though another thing might actually be underneath it. I think that's what makes characters interesting and, and this was written, John Smith was written in, in a way that that was uh, primary among uh, his sort of psychological composition. And then on top of that, to get to go to Berlin, which is one of my favorite cities in the world, and, uh, and spend two months there and really use these, these places. You know, you can see it in the, in the trailer that we we really got to run around the streets of Berlin and use the architecture, and then you get to Singapore, which is like its own, I don't know if anybody's ever been there, but what a remarkable, incredible place. So that, that was an, another big uh, draw for me to, uh, to get involved as well, and uh, we just had a good time. We yeah. really, really, you know, it was a challenge, as any movie like this is, but it was fulfilling every step of the way, and I can't wait to actually share it with people.
We've got a little time for some questions for Hannah and Zachary, if you guys want to step up to the microphone. That would be great. Hi there. What's, our, what's your question? As Zachary, you, um, you have a very warm demeanor about you, but you're often playing cold characters. Why, why is that? Is there something we don't know, Zachary? Yeah, there's something I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I feel like part of, the, part of what draws me to character, and I don't, I don't really think it's possible to play a character unless you can find a way to really love them. Uh, and, and so to play these characters who are either really um, separate or somehow inside conflicted and, and to really try to like find something that people can you know love about them I don't know it's 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 hard to say you know like looking at my character in a second season of American Horror Story like how do you love a character like that but then but then you go psychologically back to where that kind of aberrant behavior is generated and I think it for me, it, it triggers a kind of compassion that maybe that's what draws people in because I don't feel, I don't feel evil. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> See, but yeah, then you have that kind of thing. The movie certainly seems to capture the spirit of the game for me because uh, I, yeah, I really yeah. enjoy yeah. the game enormously. I think that's the thing that's so cool that like fans of the game, and it's a huge game, obviously, uh, it's a great launching off point. You know, uh, we take the world and I think we expand on it and we, we build from these characters that people are familiar with. But in the, in the video game world, John Smith's a very peripheral character. So in this world, he's fully explored in a different kind of way. And, uh, and I think that's part of what the cross appeal will be for games, fans of the game and also for fans of movies. Were you guys familiar with the game before you uh, started working on the project? Yeah. I knew it existed. I'm, I'm not, not I mean, I, it's probably the worst admission I could ever make in all age, but I'm not <laughs> a gamer by nature anymore. I, I left, I, I graduated with the original Nintendo system <laughs> before <laughs> Nintendo 64. That's how old I am. Uh, I thought maybe it's research. You might go back and play I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to go on my Game Boy when I get home. And, um, but I did know the game existed, and I certainly saw the game before we started the movie. And Hannah, Hannah really... I tried, but I keep pronouncing Tetris tetanus, so that's how much I know about gaming. No, but all my, especially my guy friends, um, they were really impressed that I was involved in this because they said it was, you know, one of the coolest, most exciting, well-executed games out there. And I did try and play it once, and I wasn't very good. But... <laughs> but that's no reflection on your work. No reflection. Uh, that's at all, yes. Luckily, you're an actress. You can pretend to be good at it. I can pretend. Yes, yes. exactly. We have time for one more question, sir. You're it. Uh, hi, it's Zach. What's up? Um, I'm a big Star Trek fan. Cool. And I want to say thanks for breathing new life to such an iconic role as Spock. And uh, my question is, with American Horror Story and Star Trek, um, it seems like your career is... Uh, beginning to diversify into different roles, so you're not locked into something like Spock, like Leonard Nimoy was. Um, are you searching for different roles to kind of not be locked in? Sure, yeah, all the time. I mean, for me, diversity is key, and the thing that I loved about the opportunity to make this film is that it's, you know, in the, in the last Star Trek movie, there was a, a sort of elevated sense of action from Spock, and that was something that I loved, that I got a chance to do, and to work in that capacity with JJ and Benedict and all the people in that film. Um, and, and now, this had that element, but in a much more mainstream kind of way. It's not set in some, I mean, there are elements of it that are heightened and stylized, obviously, um, the genetic modification of the character of Agent 47 is in throughout the story. So there are kind of elements of it, but the story itself and the relationships between the characters, I felt like it was taking a lot of those other qualities that the action exposure gave me in the second film and, uh, and, and reapplying it. So yeah, diversity for me is like, I want to do as much different stuff as possible and defy whatever expectations people have of me, I want to try to defy them. And same for myself, whatever expectations or limitations I put on myself, you know, I want to kind of always move beyond them because I think that's the thing that keeps a career interesting. Uh, and the great thing about having fans as, uh, as avid and loyal as all of you are uh, is that you're willing to come with us as actors on the different journeys that we take, and uh, and that's what makes it exciting, and that's ultimately what makes it give us give it you know, makes us give it back to you guys and say we want to do good stuff and we hope that you like it, and uh, and you know we're really excited about this movie and we we look forward to sharing it with you all. Well, I can't wait to see Hitman Agent Thanks. 47. Help me thank.
Hannah Ware and Zachary Quinto for coming out Thank and being guys. here with us today. Thank you guys, appreciate it.